Hi guys, Halfway Dead here with a quick video. So Psyonix changed a couple of things about the Dead Zone and I added a couple of features to my web app so I wanted to make a quick update video. So the first thing that you may have seen in the patch is the Dodge Dead Zone. So in the video I talked about how far you have to pull your analog stick to make a dodge. And with zero dead zone that it makes a tilted square area. So you have to pull your stick at least 0.5 to any direction. Now with the dodge dead zone we can actually change how far we have to pull the analog stick to make a dodge. If you make the dodge dead zone bigger then you have to pull the analog stick further in order to make a dodge. If you make the dodge dead zone smaller you don't have to pull the analog stick as far. Now I would say this setting is purely preference. Just go with the default if you're used to it and if you feel like you need a bigger dodge dead zone because you do too many backflips or too many front flips by accident then make it bigger. If you feel like you have to pull your stick too far then you can make it a bit smaller but it's purely preference. Then I also wanted to add that my dead zone got support for controllers now. So if I press a button on my controller, okay sometimes it doesn't work and you have to open a new tab and close it. And now my controller is actually connected to the Dead Zone app. Which means I can use my controller's left stick to control this. And yeah, with this you can test and play around with the actual controller, which may be helpful if you're trying to set the right Dead Zone for example. If you see the left stick right now I'm getting an arrow because I'm at zero dead zone so obviously there's an input detected and if I want to find the minimum dead zone I have to set in order to get no arrow I can do this in this web app and as you can see like with 0.7 sometimes I still get an arrow so at about 0.10 I definitely don't get an arrow anywhere so that's just to find dead zone for my controller. Um, you have to keep in mind though that the Steam controller overlay can change your sensit sensitivity and make it slightly more sensitive, which will cause it to be, yeah, which will force you to set your dead zone even higher. That's it for this video. I hope it was helpful despite being basically unedited. If you want to stay up to date about this kind of stuff, then follow me on Twitter. The web app was actually up to date already a week ago, but I didn't really find the time to make a video.